Good morning, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day 22. So yesterday I showed you how to create an opportunity inside of the Opportunities Applet, and today we're going to sort of take a step back to a previous challenge with regards to checklists, but I'm going to show you a very important feature now that we have an opportunity created of how to automate client communication and follow-up through your checklist and client update items. So let's dive back into the Opportunities Applet. And we can see yesterday we created a new opportunity and that's inside of our active pipeline. By the way, since we put the potential list price here, you've got the volume. And remember when we talked about potential income versus probable income, you can see that here as well. The potential income, if it closes, is $30,000. However, since at the active staging stage, the likelihood to close is 50%. I'll show you that in just a second. The probable income is only 15,000. So let's go back into the active phase. And here we are in the staging stage and we've got Marge and Homer Simpson, our fictional character, the opportunity has been created. Now you can see if I go into edit stages, I don't actually have any checklist items inside of the staging stage. So we would want to build out some checklist items. Now, when it's time for staging, let's just say um, we want to put in an item that says um, something along the lines of preparing your house for photography, right? So first of all, I need to schedule the photography session with seller and photographer, right? Now I use a specific photographer. Um, and so I would wanna make sure that I've got that taken care of. So we've gotta make sure that the photos are scheduled. Now we probably have some additional items before this and some additional items after this, but this is just to show you client updates. So once I've actually got a date selected and a time selected with both my seller and photographer, I could check that off. Now I wanted to put in an actual checklist item that goes out to the photographer, to, excuse me, to the seller themselves. So I'm gonna add an item, and this is what we're gonna call that item. So we're actually, I'm gonna copy and paste this just to save some time. So what this says is your house is now ready for photography, right? So this is the item that I just put in. Please prep for photos using the link below and expect an email and call from Mel Garrett with MLS Shots Photography. Now this is the photographer that I use, right? So this is going to be an item that I save. And then I said, hey, use the link below. So I've got to add another item. Here's the cool thing, guys, with regards to actually doing checklist items, you can put in actual MLSs, no, excuse me, URLs, MLSs. You can put in actual URLs and those URLs, when they go in as a client update, they will show up as an e at a URL inside of the email that you're gonna send the client. So this is how that would work, right? So our third item is just the URL. Now I want these two things to be sent to my client the day or day after that I actually check those items. So I want to check these off as client update items. So the first step to do a client update one is to have a checklist with actual checklist items that you have designated as client update items. So that's step number one, All right? What do I want that, what items do I want my client to potentially receive an email regarding? So this is number one, right? I've got two checklist items that are gonna be client updates. I've designated them as so, I'm gonna save the checklist. Now you can see that we have three items in this stage and only two of them are client updates. So the next step on client updates is to click on this gear. We want to configure those client updates. So when we click on that gear, we actually get taken into our settings menu where we can review the settings for our actual client updates. So the first thing that we wanna make sure that we look at is what time do we want our client updates to go out? Now command will check to see if you have checked off any client update items at this time every single day. And if you have, then it'll automatically send out an email to your clients based upon those items. Now, 9.30 a.m., I don't know. I, I changed this to 6 p.m. 
right? So I'm gonna actually change it to six o'clock p.m. And the reason being is I figure that's my end of work day, basically, right? I'm probably not gonna check off any client update items after six o'clock p.m. And I want the email to go out the same day that I'm checking off those items. If I had it at 9.30 and I checked off a client update item at 9.35, the email wouldn't get sent until the next day at 9.30 a.m. So I don't like that. I wanna make sure that any update items that I've checked off today during my work day get sent out that day. So that's why I would suggest changing this time. In my case, I'm gonna change it to six o'clock p.m. Who does this get sent from? Right now, because I'm a solo agent, the only option is owner. If you're on a team, you could actually select whether it comes from the Rainmaker or the Opportunity Assignee. Who are you going to send client updates to? Right, And so you've got client and co-client, or if you just wanted to send it to the primary client only, you could select that. I recommend client and co-client. You never know who's gonna be the one driving the transaction. Better to over-communicate than under-communicate. You could also choose to send yourself a copy of the email if you'd like. You might wanna do that just for fail safe the first few times, and then if you decide it's too much, you can always come back and uncheck this. Here, you can see a preview of what this email is actually going to look like. So let's dive into that. So you can see here, you're pulling up your actual marketing information. So it's gonna have your, this will be your marketing, uh, Market Center's logo, all of the information from your marketing profile. Then it pulls in the contact's name. It pulls in the address of the actual opportunity, right? Remember, we selected that earlier on. And then you can see your checklist items listed here. Next, you've got a little bit more branding down here at the bottom. You've got an app that you can write, make sure you've got your app link set up in settings. And then down here at the bottom, you've got some additional uh, marketing material. So again, this is just kind of branding wise testing. Don't worry, it's gonna actually have your name on there as well. So I'm gonna close that preview. Now that we have this settings set up, we can save our changes. That was step two. We have one last step that we need to go through. Each opportunity, you have the ability to turn on or turn off client updates for that specific transaction. And by default, your client updates are turned off. So don't go through all the work of creating these checklist items that are client updates. Go through the settings menu, get it all configured, and then not actually have them go out. Because the last step is to come into the opportunity itself and when you're in the opportunity, you're gonna see that the opportunities are turned off by default, like I said. So click on client updates and make sure that you turn them on by toggling over send daily progress emails. Again, it's gonna remind you what time you have set up. It's gonna remind you that you have it set up to come from the owner. And then it's gonna say, who do you want this to be sent to? Now, I don't need this to go out to the assignee and the owner, so I'm gonna go ahead and just choose owner so that I get a copy. I could add any additional contacts in here if I wanted to. Um, if so, maybe there was a third person involved in the transaction, you know, Margin Homer's mom wants to know what's going on. We've all dealt with that parent before, you could do that. Um, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and click on save changes. So now inside of this actual opportunity, when you view the opportunity card here, you're gonna see at the bottom right, this little zero of three, this is the checklist for this specific opportunity. And now you can see here are the actual items on this checklist. So if I were to go through and say, hey, yep, I talked to the photographer, I talked to Margin Homer, they're all good for you know this coming Wednesday at 12 o'clock, so we've got that scheduled perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and check that off that we've got that done. And now I'm gonna check off these two items as well. And since these are client update items at six o'clock tonight, Command is going to send an automatic email. You saw what that preview looked like. It's gonna send it to Marge, to Homer, and to me so that I get a copy. And it's gonna say these two checklist items, your house is ready for photography, check out the link below, and then it'll actually show the link. That's how you can automate a ton of follow-up, right? We know that the number one complaint from clients in our database, especially around listings, is that we didn't communicate enough. Guys, you should still be doing some, some regular communication yourself, but this is a way to do some additional automatic you know, communication with regards to key steps that are happening throughout 
your opportunities. So these can be built out for any stage that you have built in any one of your phases for any checklist item that you designate as an update item. So that's essentially client updates inside of the opportunities applet, the ability to start automating some additional touch points for your clients if they're a seller or a buyer, landlord or tenant, any of those checklists available, you can build those out. Highly recommend putting these into place, guys, just to further your communication process with your buyers and sellers. That's it for today. As always, it's fantastic talking to you, and I look forward to talking to you again real soon.